I would like to cover two things in this video uh, concerning the auto notes. So the first thing is how to use, how I suggest you use the default auto notes that we've set up in there or you can set up. First of all, I've got three procedures down here, so I'm going to do a group note. I highlighted all three of those procedures. I'm going to right mouse click and go up here to group note. And from here, I can type something if I want to, but I want to use the auto notes. So I'm going to click on auto notes. Now, this patient had uh, a composite and a crown done today. Two different procedures, but I want to do what's called what we call the patient prep. Okay, this is going to prompt you for the total amount of anesthetic, nitrous, whether you use topical, all those things in there. Okay, so I'm going to do the brief one because that doesn't cover the medical history. This is good for a patient who just came in within the last few weeks and we don't need to update his medical history again. You can look at these things, you can modify them any way that you want. So I'm going to double click on that and it says it wants, it's prompting me for the blood pressure. Okay, so we'll put the blood pressure in, we'll click on next. Now it wants to know where I, what area of the mouth did I give local anesthesia for? And I'm gonna say I used topical, I infiltrated on the upper right, and I did a left mandibular block. So you can click on multiple guys in here. Going to the next one, what anesthetic did I use? Well, I used some xylocaine and I used some uh, Septicate. And how many carpules? I used a total of three carpules. Go on to the next one. Did I do nitrous? Yes, I did nitrous today at two liters and 100% oxygen at the end of the appointment and the patient tolerated it well. So very fast way to do the charting. And now I'm going to put the providers in there, uh, two different providers. There we go. All right, so now that charting is done. That was the patient prep. But then I said we did a crown today and we also did a composite. So let's go down here and let's do the composite. Double click on that. I'm just chaining things together here. All right, so I used photobond. And uh, what kind of composite did I use? I used that composite. All right, so now my composite is done. So let's go down again, let's add a line. Let's just say we didn't do it for one of these procedures, but I'm gonna say we did an amalgam. So I'm gonna click on the amalgam, and there's no prompts, because I can't figure out what kind of prompts you wanna put in there for an amalgam. Let's go down to the next one, I'll put a couple lines in here, and we did a crown prep. So let's double click on that. So where was the caries? Well, there's mesial and distal caries. Good idea to document this in there. You don't have to, but it's a good idea to do it. You don't want to do it, we'll take it out and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. This is a kind of a complicated looking one, but it's really pretty simple. It says, is this crown the initial placement? Yes, it is, or no, it's not the initial placement. No, it's not the initial placement, it's about seven years old. So I'm gonna pick that guy. Okay, and it put my documentation right in there, and you may need that uh, when you are billing the insurance. Okay, but always a good idea to have it when you actually do the prep. So we did a prep. Um, it was necessary because greater than one third of the coronal tooth structure was lost. I put the documentation right in there in case the insurance company asks, uh, and I did this is the way I did it. So go on to the next one. Uh, how, how did I retract? Okay, again, you can pick on multiple things there. What's the shade? Let's just put A3 in. All right, so now there, all my charting is done. So I started off with the patient prep. Uh, I then did the composite, then I did an amalgam, then I did a crown, and all my documentation is in there. So now I'm just gonna say okay, and then I'm gonna e-sign it right here. Okay, and I'm done. Okay, so there's all my charting done for that. Okay. All right, say, listen, I don't like your auto notes. How do we change them? Okay, let me show you. We're going to go into setup. There's two autos in here. There's auto codes and auto notes. We don't want auto codes. We want auto notes down here. And here's the ones, the default ones that we've put in there. And let's just say that you don't like uh, the way I do a crown. Okay, so we're going to double click on this guy. You can change the auto notes over here, or you can change the prompts that go with them 
over here. So if you wanted to add something, for example, if you wanted to, um, let's just say patient response. Okay, so I put something in here. Now I have to put a, a prompt over here that answers that question. So I'm going to go in here and add one. And the easiest way to do that is to do them like in Microsoft Word first and then copy and paste them over here. And so I'm going to, just going to call it this. And we're going to say that we can have multiple ones in here. Okay. And I'm going to put patient response here. Now I can't have any spaces in here. Okay. So sometimes it's helpful to to capitalize that. And then I can put whatever I want down here. Each line is going to be a separate um, separate response. Okay, a separate guy that you can choose. Let's go down and find it where to go here. Patient patient response right there. Okay. Now what I said right up here, I skipped over this that I can have a multiple response. So I have a choice here. I can just request text like I did for the blood pressure. I can do a single response, meaning it's only going to allow me to do one of those guys. Or in this case, I'm going to do a multiple response. Most of them are multiple responses. So now I'm going to say, OK. I'm going to go back to this guy again. I'm going to put my cursor right there. And I'm going to go back to patient response, and I'm going to insert it. So it inserted it right there. Okay, so now if I go back and do that crown prep, so we'll just do it for this one. We'll do an auto note for the single procedure. I'm going to skip that part up there. We're just going to do the crown prep. And I'm going to go through these same things, but when I get down here, it will respond, it will prompt for the gibberish that I put in there. Okay, you say, you know what? Um, yes, we want to abort that. Let's get out of here. Okay. Um, I want to get rid of some of the things that are in there. That's even easier. So we go to Auto Notes again. And we'll go to the Crown Prep. And, you know, this is a silly thing to put in there. I'm just going to take that out. Okay. Boom. It's gone. Okay. Now, the fact that the prompt is still over here doesn't hurt anything. Okay, you can delete it or you can leave it. So I'm going to delete it because it doesn't have any use. Now keep in mind that prompts are often used. Um, prompts are op often used for several different auto notes. So uh, for instance, the prompt amount up here is used lots of different places. So if I deleted that, I'd have I'd create errors in some of my other uh, auto notes over there. So just kind of keep that in mind. If in doubt, leave it in. Doesn't hurt anything. Okay, so that's how to use the auto notes and also uh, how to change them.